What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I hope you like this video. So listen, tonight was the, the finale to Celebrity Big Brother uh, Season 3, and baby, I've already given y'all my little breakdown rundown of how that whole night went, but it seems as though that what we were missing was the whole meltdown that was going on behind the, sta the, behind the scenes. So listen, it is no secret that Tajik Hall has been getting hammered um, for things that he's done and how he's been playing the game and things that he has said. Allegedly, according to Spoiler King over on to the Twitter, y'all go follow Spoiler King's account over to the Twitter. Um, according to Spoiler King, Tajik Hall's management actually called CBS earlier this week. They were not happy with the edits, and they are not happy with how Tajik is coming across on the show. Tonight, um, if you don't already know, spoiler alert, I'm going to tell you who won. So if you don't want to know who won, go on and pause this video now and come back. But tonight, after the votes were cast and Tajik only getting one vote, which actually came from Cynthia Bailey, which by the end of the night, I'm sure she regretted. Um... When they went to commercial break, because you know it was a, a live show, when they went to commercial break, allegedly, Tajik had an epic meltdown. He left the couch, walked off the set, and was refusing to return. Production and producers were begging him to come back. Even Misha had to go over and try to console him and bring him back to the couch. He eventually did come back um, so that they could finish out the episode. Um... But as you guys saw, it was very awkward. Nobody went up to him. Nobody congratulated him. Nobody really spoke to him. He tried to talk to people. Shayna made comments about, you know, karma being a you-know-what and, you know, talking about how he is. Misha even had to ask Tajik, is this how the finales go? Like, is this what it is? And he said his response was, when the jury is bitter, they do. Um... Once the show was over and the credits were rolling, Todrick allegedly ran into his dressing room and would ref and refused to come out and do press. Um, Misha again had to go up to him and he finally let her in her in his dressing room after she was knocking for about two minutes straight. Um, as of tonight, according to Spoiler King, Todrick would not do press. He refused to do press. Um, and they're hoping that they'll be able to calm him down and get him to do press later on this week. You know, um, they said Lamar tried to, you know, get everybody to calm down. They said it was very tense on the set. Uh, Todd Bridges, Todd Bridges also refusing to, um, speak with, um, Todrick, even after Todrick tried to walk up to him. They said that, Cynthia, Misha, and Todrick got their phones back, and once they started reading their phones, there were these these weird looks that Todrick saw his phone, and that is, you know, when he walked off. Um, Cynthia saw her phone, got upset, and went to go call somebody, and that could have been anything, you guys. She'd been locked up for a month. It could have been all kinds of messages and text messages. Um, it was reported that her and Carson were having a conversation in the corner, a very intense conversation, um, where Carson was probably telling her ass what the skinny was and all about how they got played and looked real stupid on national television as it related to Shayna, um, and probably was explaining to her why she was the only one that voted for Todrick. But yeah, you guys, go on over to Spoiler King over on the Twitter because, uh, baby, uh, it is all there, okay? So yeah, um, honestly, I hate to say it, I, I you know, I like Todrick, but I'm honestly not shocked to hear that there was a whole moment. Um, one, you could tell by his speech that he absolutely thought he played the better game. Two, he is a super fan, um, who has wanted this for a very long time and to get that close and not taste it. You know, some of us just, our responses are different. Um, and three, you know, you, you, you just, the way, I think in his mind he was just playing game and that everybody would just be good and be over it when it's over with. But, you know, there's a way to play game. There's a way to even be dirty and play the game without crossing certain lines that people felt like, um, 
that people felt like you were going to cross. Now, I don't know what he said about Todd Bridges on them live feeds, but baby, I need to find out. From what I'm understanding, Todd is going to do a and a I don't know if it's going to be on his Twitter or on his Instagram because I'm going to be honest, I don't follow Todd Bridges. But I'm about to go find him tonight because I want to know what it was that Todd Hall said that got him in a bunch because, baby, Todd Bridges was not here for Todd Hall tonight. He was rolling his eyes while he was giving his, um, you know, finale speech and all of those things. And then the fact that he refused to even speak to him when Todd tried to go and talk to him. It's, it's got to be deep. I don't know what that man said, but baby, I'm going to find out, okay? And when I find out, I'm going to let y'all know because it's got to be deep, okay? Anyway, that's what I have. That is behind the stage, backstage stuff. And I feel like this is going to probably go on for a couple of days, so we may have to revisit this. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in those comments. Peace.